the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Every man is spirit. Please look up man is spirit and every spirit resides legally if it is to function in the earth here it resides in a body are we together and for as long as you have a body you have the legitimate ground the authorization to function within the earth whatever deteriorates your body to a point where it no longer becomes functional is administering death to you because there is a threshold level of health that your body must have for your spirit to be able to safely reside within it are we together now the assignment of satan is to ultimately lead you to that point of separation by deteriorating your health condition it can come in any form so when your health is deteriorated beyond a certain threshold what happens to you satan now ensures that your body is separated from your spirit so every time we minister healing it is a way of preserving your life so that you will have that body to be able to serve the purposes of god he says a body has thou prepared for me are we together except through understanding as you age and as time passes because of the wear and tear of this body naturally medical people begin to tell us that you will begin to see certain things and i have found out that about the most common of these things for men prostrates high blood pressure uh, what do we call it again paralysis and all these things um, what do we call this sickness where your mind is not coordinated again you start forgetting things and all of that you see that now and then of course women it comes as all kinds of things but I want you to make up your mind I know there are doctors here I respect you and I respect whatever it is that you have studied I want you to believe that the Word of God becomes the definition for your life for as long as you start believing some of these things they subliminally start programming you I am 50 now I expect enlarged prostrate and the devil says you are thank you for welcoming it and you receive it by faith are we together you have a right to reject anything at all that is not of God reject it and stand with faith and in faith why am I saying this so that when we are praying for the sick you don't say since my own condition does not necessitate admission in the hospital i am fine remember what i taught you about the devil the moment he tests you and you allow him unrestrained he will move further to bring another version of that thing so right now that i want to pray for the sick please i want you to release your faith that anything that does not represent god's design for you as revealed in scripture it is time for it to leave is someone in agreement please rise up on your feet while that is happening how many of you have your prayer requests here all the overflows to the basement outside those following online now we'll do two things at the same time number one is our ushers will be collecting the prayer requests now what I want you to do please still write if there are things you need to write I'll give you one minute very quickly you want to add something your faith has been enlarged and you still want to add one or two things write it down quickly and then pass it may i request that you pass it 
to someone maybe by your left and right let there be one person who has nobody will read your request just pass it for ease ushers please you can begin to walk around very quickly so that we'll collect it if you're still writing just take a minute or two and write believing the lord to step in for you you heard what the lord did in the life of our dear one who testified writing something in the prayer request unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come very quickly very quickly medical reports terminal situations unfavorable conditions for you your children parents spouse company business church the bible says be anxious for nothing but in everything so there is nothing that should be left out of the scope of prayer in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says let your request be made known unto god let your request be made known unto god be anxious for nothing philippians chapter 4 we start reading from verse 6 you find that and it says and the peace of god will garrison your heart and your mind very quickly now i want to pray for the sick listen I have seen the healing power of Jesus. I was so touched by the testimony of our dear sister. Look the miracle that Jesus did for her husband. Literally. From the dead. And then correction. Brand new organs. The mighty God is able to do this. I want to pray for you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now please lay your hands why do i ask you to lay your hands as a point of contact it's a way of releasing your faith before god stepped in we're talking about the three components that must be present to create an atmosphere of the supernatural one is passion for god and complete surrender number two we agreed that the second key that i wrote here is deep heartfelt worship number three is faith now you are about to exercise your faith i hope you know that faith is simply obedience obedience to the word of god obedience to the demands that commit god to your life without action you are not walking by faith it's as simple as that faith is more than confession faith is more than believing faith is your action now here's what i want you to do we're not going to take too much time the moment i begin to pray for you others as you fell under the power of god miracles began to happen to you all kinds of supernatural connection um, corrections do you know why we ask people to come out when they are healed it's not just to show that the man of god is powerful no you see it, it, with all humility at, at this point in ministry there is nothing to prove again god has honored himself beyond contention but the goal is in coming out to testify three things happen number one you help the people to see the power of god on display truthfully number two it acts as a seal to what you have done are we together the bible says we overcame them by the blood of the lamb and by the word yes the word of your testimony is part of the weapons of your overcoming so i'm going to pray for you right now all the overflows outside following all our viewers across the globe as i pray for you right now immediately i want you to begin to send in your testimonies for those of you who are out outside of uh, the local environment and for those who are here the moment i ask you to come out to come and testify do not be afraid do not be ashamed i want you to come out we'll take a few testimonies then we'll pray over re the requests and i prophesy into your life are you ready now please lay your hands and begin to pray one minute jesus step in for me with your mercy over whatever condition it is mention it please pray don't tolerate anything that does not look like jesus i'm beginning to lose hearing don't tolerate it 
I'm suffering the issue of blood. Don't tolerate it. I'm beginning to have whatever symptoms. Don't tolerate it. It looks like I'm having heart palpitations, breathing problems. Don't tolerate it. Lumps all over my body. Don't tolerate it. Talk to Jesus. Jesus, step in. Step in over my life. Step in over my destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In one of the visions that I had, as God began to release me into the ministry, I saw I was in a place and it was like the hospitals were closed. It was like a curfew. But then there were people lying down, some sick, some lifeless, you know, just littered across an open space. And I was outside and I saw them. I felt very, very terrible and irritated by their conditions. And they were looking up to me and it was in the night and it looked like these people were hoping that I would do something and I heard a voice that voice spoke to me and he said to heal them and that is why what opened me up to the healing ministry I really believe in the power of Jesus to heal I believe I believe he heals he heals he healed yesterday he's healing now and he will heal forever the healing ministry is one of the cardinal components that puts the power of God on display are you ready now let's pray the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, Jesus. Something is happening here. I'll sing it one more time. The saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you. I was given an example about this enlarged prostrate, but it's not just an example. The Spirit of God is ministering to me that He's healing someone of that condition right now is beginning to happen to you this thing happened from when you were around 55 it started all of the symptoms that show an enlarged prostrate in the name of jesus be healed now i stretch my hands and i decree and declare everyone here who has any blood condition you've seen jesus change genotypes here You've seen Jesus remove all kinds of things from your blood. Every stranger in your blood that should not be there. In the name of Jesus, I flush them out now. I flush them out now. Be healed right now. Migraine headaches, the Lord is healing migraines very severe migraine be healed now every damaged organ in your body we declare a brand new organ now the pelvic area for someone you've had severe severe pain in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is bringing you life and healing right now. Please believe it. You are receiving something right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Eye conditions. For one of you, you are just beginning to see it, symptoms of, of, of a very severe eye problem. And for others, it's been there for a while. It does not matter how long, 
I command eyes be open now. Honestly, I'm sensing a very, very strong anointing. There's someone, your chest, your chest, that demonic thing around your chest, I declare be released from it now. This is, this is not like you have fever, but many times your tongue just tastes bitter. Very, very bitter for reasons you do not know. And the moment that thing happens, it comes with ill health. It looks like a, a severe case of typhoid, but you've treated it, it's returned. You've treated it, it's returned. It's a demonic thing. Right now, I stretch my hands. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every blood condition, I'm repeating it again. HIV, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Hepatitis be healed now. Sugar diabetes be healed now. Severe waist pain. The Lord is healing severe waist pain. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, I don't know what it is, at this side of your neck. As soon as I'm done praying, I want you to check yourself. You will see that a miracle has happened right now. Let that demonic growth leave you now. Amen. There is someone, you're not in the main auditorium, but you are losing your teeth. I've prayed over this kind of condition before. Something is happening and it's like your, your teeth, your gums or whatever is weakening. And if you have been pulled out already, and I'm seeing that more of it is, is like it's weak. The power of God right now is bringing you healing and restoration. Amen. Now, anyone who is on crutches, anyone who is using an aid to walk, I declare life and strength to your limbs now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every deafness, partial deafness, total deafness, I command that ear to be opened now. Someone there is like a growth in your truth but it's inside it's not like thyroid but i don't know what it is it looks like it, it it looks to me from what i'm seeing like it's a boil but it's inside you with severe pain not it, it looks like tonsillitis but it's not tonsillitis wherever you are right now as i'm praying the power of god is resting upon you now in the name of jesus christ every joint pain hear the word of the lord i declare be healed now now every other situation whether i mentioned it or not in the name of jesus christ i am praying for you inside outside everywhere i bring you life and healing in jesus name life and healing in jesus name life and healing in jesus name I want you to check yourself right now everywhere check yourself I want us to celebrate miracles for a few minutes check yourself the moment you find out that something has happened to you now or as at the time I was praying my God I'm seeing people coming out celebrate them very quickly you find out that a miracle has happened please I want you to be bold walk to the front right now and there will be people here to receive you. Let's take a few testimonies. Please, very quickly. Koinonia, is this what you are doing? Is this the best you can do? Check yourself very quickly. Miracles are happening right now. Do what you couldn't do before. Stretch, stand, walk. Let someone speak over you. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing here? I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. You're the Son of God. Lord, I believe. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. You're the Son of God. One more time. We believe. Say, Yes, 
Jesus is bringing miracles. Hallelujah. Are we ready? Yes, sir. God bless you. All right. Please listen very carefully to these testimonies. Hallelujah. Whilst you are listening, the power of God is also touching you. And those of you who have received miracles from across the globe, do well to send in your testimonies immediately. We'll have a few testimonies and then you'll be done. Now, very quickly, go ahead. So, Apostle, this sister here has had migraine for like five years. Migraine. And what happened to you now? Praise the Lord. I, I came with a very severe headache, which is, I'm very used to it. So I came and I was like, maybe it has started again. I went to the restroom to watch my eyes because of, yes. I have all thin eye and my And what brain. happened now? I went to collect my stomach. But when, during the service, I felt a cold sensation in my body. Yes. And everything has Completely started. gone. It never returns to you again. In the name of Jesus, celebrate Jesus. So, sir, interestingly, you mentioned the case of yes, my brother, yes, particularly sir. for this lady when you were praying for her, and she has an amazing testimony to share with Go her. ahead, yes, please. Praise God. When Papa was praying for a woman that had a fibroid, and I was down there, I fell onto the anointing, and later I, I was checking myself since then, and I, did, there is a swollen here before, but. Oh, there, there after, was a swelling. Yes, you could feel it yes. right now. No. Check it. I, 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 I tried check. I was trying to press my stomach to see if I can see that soul. It's gone. It's gone. Are, you, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at this. Came with, with an evident swelling. And now it's gone completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. So for the past three, four days now, I've been having serious pain inside my throat okay i can't whenever i'm swearing any saliva saliva i feel serious pain so i had to visit the pharmacist they gave me this thing to be taken yes from time to time and i have a tablet too but immediately you just called that i felt this as if something something just felt, and i swallowed saliva i want to swallow saliva i had to take one of these put in my mouth before i could feel it and right pain. now i feel better. in the name of jesus christ it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit, yes. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those with high defect. Hers is astigmatism. She couldn't look at bright light, but now she could look at light. My, you couldn't look at bright light for how long? Um, it's two years now. Uh huh. Yes, and right now, I can you can look at this light, yes, and it has no effect on you. My goodness, are you celebrating Jesus? complete healing for you right now yes please very quickly severe back pain for the past one year you couldn't bend down but now you could bend down bend my down friend comfortably and bend down any pain any pain in the name of jesus it never returns to you by the power of the holy spirit yes please you gave word of knowledge of those with severe chest pain our mommy has had it for about some years now but now Mama, how, four long, years how now. long has it been like four years four years yes. sometimes it blocks uh, it's like there's something there so sometimes when i'm eating it sort of chokes and what happened to you now i can't feel that completely way. breathe in and out breathe in and out any pain let's celebrate jesus for what he's doing in the life of our mother it will never return to you again in the name of jesus yes pastor jakes yes go ahead sir so apostle sorry medical thing we're actually very fine and interesting okay. testimony here wow please come so she had she suffered a stroke a stroke yes sir and amazingly god touched her what yes. happened my dear what's your name and good evening sir my name is ab whilst the woman was giving the testimony about her husband who had suffered this, this can, stroke, can you amplify the volume technical help us with the volume. i am um, said to myself i said her own is more than mine that means i can get my healing and whilst i was sitting there i started moving my legs it, it how was, did you come here i, I could move but i always felt the okay. small small yes thing. and then on my lips as well it's it's numb it was numb your and lips then, yes and then whilst you were praying my head if i held my head like this and shake it it will ache like it was very heavy but as you prayed there was a cold sensation and even as I'm doing my dear look at me look she's even surprised walk walk as fast as you can Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? Name above, say, name above every other name. 
Can you imagine the devil would have just destroyed the life of this lady my dear she's surprised look at this look at me in the name of jesus we agree with you that devil goes now never to return in the name of jesus yes sir all right sir so apostle again mama here has been experiencing severe pain aside from her finger then it actually moved into other locations. are you seeing what god is doing now yes. mama what happened to you i told god today to give me a first time miracle even here here, I took paracetamol here today while sitting when I came. Since you morning. took paracetamol here, yes, sir. Yes, and now I'm not feeling any. Check yourself, check yourself. Look at this, look at this. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord will honor you and perfect everything that concerns you. In Jesus name I pray are you ready go ahead oh my god look it's at might, this there's a mighty miracle here look she, at this she was supported she couldn't walk she was supported to come here my dear but the power of me. God talked her since last year oh uh, look, look how the lady is my dear look at me look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke that spirit I lose you right now let her try look at me she was headed here she couldn't walk she couldn't walk yes walk walk apostle this is our mother oh this is her mother yes sir mama what is are you her mother she, yes this was the child for uh, uh, national hospital on friday what happened to her just like that he fed her does this thing look just like that every power masquerading as circumstances to plague your life in the name of jesus i curse it now look at how the devil wants to destroy the destiny of this precious lady just like that no stretch your hands towards her as the house of god in one minute let's declare perfection over this miracle lord this that you have begun this lady will not die this lady will not die this lady will not die in the name of jesus whatever is wrong we bring correction and perfection in jesus name i pray amen and amen god bless you very quickly there are two cases of swollen hands she said last year since she gave birth her hand got swollen and let me hear her what happened to you? Straight to the point, madam. Okay, Apostle, I gave birth last year, December 13th. So my hand began to swell up gradually. And then. Your hand? Yes. This place, please. Uh huh. Uh huh. Begin to swell up. And then I could not move it very well. And then if I move, I have this severe. Pain. And right now. And right now, I receive. Move it. Look at this. Since she gave birth, she could not move her hand. My dear, in the name of Jesus, you are healed and you are perfected by the power of the holy spirit affliction will not rise the second time in jesus name it's another case of swollen hand to heal by the power of god what happened to you i came back from work on friday nothing happened to my hands my hands started paining me i could not sleep in the night yes this night too i could not sleep but immediately i stepped down here i could bring down my hand i could use it to stretch myself raise it dance. up bring it down raise it up any pain you are perfected right now in the name of jesus christ yes yes sir so apostle Ma god has touched another mama <laughs> oh dear all right so mama came in from joss and she actually said she actually came in she was taking some drugs and i think i'll what happened to, to you ma i had a uh, pain waist pain and then uh, abdominal pain when you were praying i was having severe pain i even took my drug when i was inside my car coming from just but when you were praying after the prayers it's gone said, now it's check gone, yourself any pain. any pain completely in the name of jesus it will never return to you again amen. by the power of the holy spirit amen, amen and amen. amen who is ready yes so we we have this brother that's had pain i have abdominal pain it has been long it come up and stop 
But when you are paying for someone that have abdominal pain, so I get in and hold my hand on my stomach. And right now, it's gone. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those with prostrate enlargements. Now, the power of God is breaking out here to the Father in any go. Prostrate. So, the difficulty in the urination. So, immediately you pray that prayer, he called his brother and he asked the brother, the father to go and eat himself. And now the father is jumping, healed, but jumping powerfully. Where? Healed. Where is that? In Enugu. Enugu State. Enugu State, yes. My yes. goodness. I, sent, I brought all their prayer requests and I submitted it just now. But while they were praying, after the prayer, I called my, my mom and I told my dad to try and ease himself. And he told me he's feeling ease. And just now, my brother just called and told me that he's jumping up. He's been healed. Enugu State. In the name of Jesus, let there be a supernatural miracle. Perfection. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Let's see if we can take two more or three more and then we'll just pray. I'm, I'm really interested in this prayer request. Yes. You gave word of knowledge of cases of ulcer. He ulcer. has had it for two years now. The power of God came upon him. The pain disappeared. So he went to the medical personnel to check it and now the ulcer symptoms are gone. In the name of Jesus, place your hand on your chest. I decree and declare right now, let there be perfection for you. It will never return in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, a very interesting miracle here. Um, so, let's hear you first. Sir, he's lived with migraine headaches for seven years. He got used to it. I May you been... never get used to wicked and evil and difficult things Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I've yes. been passing through this headache for more than seven years. My, I call it my normal sickness. Like yesterday, I, I live my life like that. Headache is normal to me. But I was here sitting down. I was feeling it small. So I didn't feel it again. And also in my jail tree, I fell down from a tree. Hit my waist and You chest. fell down from a tree? Yes, sir. And I can't like bend down. Throughout last year, I couldn't do any serious. Bend sport. down now. If I should bend down for like five minutes, I'll start shivering. Bend so down I, now. I try to bend down and I still feel myself okay. There is nothing. Oh my and God. Just when I was having difficulty, at times my breath will start like it will cease. I complain to my parents, like at times my breath will, will just stop. And, and right now you are healed. Life. Amen. I declare perfection for you in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, uh, Apost let's see. Apostle, in summary, you migraine, back pain, head pain, all of them healed by the power of the Most High. Okay. Now, let, let me just stretch my hands. You know, I love seeing elderly people healed. They deserve peace in their life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, perfection for you. In Jesus' name. We'll take so one Apostle, or two more we here. need to hear this. Yes, sir. Please come. So you gave an accurate word of knowledge regarding a lady with, you know, feeling bitter taste in her yes. tongue. Yes. Absolutely. Who is that? Amazing. Okay. Um, whenever I got a new job, I usually feel bitter, man. Um, whenever? I got a job. Okay. I'll feel bitter mouth and all of a sudden I'll feel sick and I'll lose the job. And it happened to me this week. You see and what we are saying? very demonic situation this is not an issue of sickness what happened to you now um, I'm completely. completely everything you have lost let there be a restoration for you in the name of jesus christ let there be a restoration for you in jesus name i pray amen and amen so apostle here several cases of migraine and you know healings in the truth migraine i'm seeing the doctor is dragging one lady here. It's like she wants us to hear her testimony. All glory to Jesus. I was blind, but now I'm healed. Straight to the I point. I am healed. I, I could not use these eyes. These eyes to see anybody from far. It's Which like one? This one. How long? It's due to diabetes. For the past three years. But it happened like a year now. I can't oh. read. I can't see anybody. Yes. But today, I could see you from the screen, from where I sat down. I can close my eyes and I can close, identify Close the us. one that was walking. Yes, this is the one that is walking. And I could read from what? this. Don't distance. worry. 
What can you see? I can see four. Hallelujah! Five. Your complete hands. I can see. I can only see. What can you see? Two fingers. Thank you, Jesus. What can you see now? I can see three, four, Look five. Thank you, Jesus. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be restored unto me. Can I tell you, losing your eyes is not a good thing. Believe me, believe me. Losing your eye is not a good thing. There were miracles that Jesus would heal one and leave the rest, but not blindness. When he saw blindness, he insisted that their eyes were open. In the name of Jesus, we agree with you Thank as the you house Jesus. of God. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection for you. You go back and you live a normal life with Thank joy. This is what you get for coming to the house of God. In Jesus' name. And diabetes, by the way, you said it. We, 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 we curse that spirit right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Uh, for the sake of time, we may not be able to take all one by one, but can I agree with you? For all of you who have received miracles in the name of Jesus, it remains permanent with you. And I decree and declare there will be no resurgence of those illnesses and those issues of concern. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. Please rise up on your feet and stretch your hands here. All the overflows, just stretch your hands. We are praying right now. I want you to stretch your hands and begin to declare our global family. I'm praying over the request now. I believe in the ministry of prayer and prophetic intercession. When we pray like this, it's because we believe in the God that can hear and can act. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. I want you to stretch your hands and begin to declare that in the name of Jesus, I receive answers by faith. I receive answers by faith to everything that I've written here. For those of you who came in um, and, and brought requests for your loved ones, go ahead and, and release your faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you praying? Shaprandagatos katebre degedebelekatos. All the overflows. You are praying now. Lord, step in. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. Remember the last component: faith. Release your faith. God is doing miracles right now. hallelujah hallelujah for as long as i live i will never stop interceding over the desires of god's people because i know that we serve a god who answers prayers are we together I want you to believe in every declaration that we'll be making here it is not we're not acting this is not just some show 
believe me you will get answers to this request father in the name of jesus i stretch my hands over these requests and i declare by the power that raised christ from the dead that these egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever every spirit that is back of these tragedies we declare let judgment come upon them now in the name of Praise the Lord. Okay, thank you. For those of you who have put timing, timing to your requests, in the name of Jesus, it will not delay by a day. Let me repeat it again. If you have put timing on your request, I prophesy to you, it will not delay by one day. Whoever has vowed that this request will not be answered, in the name of Jesus, we overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn. And we give you what is rightfully yours. Every system and every structure that needs to come under the influence of the Spirit for this request to be answered, we put pressure on them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stand upon this prophetically and I decree and declare. In the name of Jesus Christ. It will never be an issue of concern for you again. The Lord gave us an instruction to come with any point of contact. Lift it up now. If you came with any point of contact your credentials your whatever it is now this is not ritual we are doing this based on the understanding that we are bringing a token a point of contact whatever you can lift your hands if there's nothing in your home whatever anything that is a point of contact please believe believe in prophetic instructions do the impossible do the impossible. Do the impossible. Do. I stretch my hands over these points of contact. Whether it is your credentials, whether it is your employment letter, whether it is your, your business, whatever, whether it is a court case, whether it is a summon from the court whether it is a real estate project a project with institutions systems and structures whether it is papers for your ministry papers for travels in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god prophetically i lay my hands on every one of these contacts and i declare i command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you i command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you The Bible says, for everyone that asketh, receive. To him that seeketh, he shall find. And to him that knocketh, the door shall be opened. Every closed door over these things lifted. I stand by the power of the prophetic and I command those doors to be opened now. <laughs> Hear me. For some of you, after this service, they will call you. And by that call, you will know you have stepped into a new season. Everyone lifting your credentials by faith, trusting God for a job. In the name of Jesus Christ, we shift every space that needs to be shifted and we create space for you. For all those who are holding legal documents, in the name of Jesus, if there be anything against you, we plead mercy. And if anyone is lifting a medical report or anything of that sort, 
in the name of Jesus Christ for you or for whoever you are standing in for let there be a testimony now I declare those documents anointed I declare them graced may they produce results for you in Jesus name I pray now please listen dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. The face of development. Lord, grant me the.